Hello and welcome to our second lesson on the Ukulele for You series. My name is Breton. I use he, him pronouns, and I am the Young Adult Services Librarian at the Boyle County Public Library. Today, in our ukulele lesson, we are going to review the things that we learned in our first lesson, and we are going to learn a new chord, and do some finger push-ups, and also learn a couple of new songs. So, let's get right into it. All right, first let's review the parts of the ukulele. Up here we have the headstock, we have the tuning pegs, we have four strings that go down the neck of the ukulele. This is the fretboard, the nut, the frets, that go all the way down. We have the body of the ukulele, the sound hole, the saddle, and the bridge. When we play the ukulele, we want to keep good posture. So that means keeping our back straight and our feet on the floor. The strings are tuned to the notes G, C, E, and A. Remember, an easy way to remember this is George Clooney eats apples. G, C, E, A. The instrument rests in our left hand, if you're right-handed, and the instrument is fretted with the left hand, if you're right-handed, and the right hand strums. Remember, there are two ways to strum. You can strum with a pick, or you can strum with just your hand, okay? Last week, we learned the C chord, and the C chord is on our first string using our ring finger on the third fret. Remember when we strum, we want to use the entire forearm to go up and down. Okay? So let's practice some finger push-ups on C. Just do a little review of what we did last time. So I'm going to start our metronome. Let's start by tapping our toe. Tap, 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 tap. Now remember, finger push-ups are when we play for four beats and then we let go for four beats, okay? So let's get into position for the C chord. And we're gonna play four, then off for four, back and forth for a few bars. One, two, ready, play. Last time, and off, two, three, four, and stop. All right, so today we are going to be learning a new chord, and the chord that we're learning today is called F. The F chord we are going to play with our first finger and our second finger. Our first finger is going to go on the second string, first fret. Our second finger is going to go on the fourth string, second fret. So remember, our thumb is in the back, providing support. First finger is on the second string, first fret. Second finger is on the fourth string, second fret. And this is what it sounds like. Try that. Remember, if you're hearing muted strings, that means you're not pressing down the strings hard enough. It might be a little awkward or uncomfortable at first. But I believe in you. You're going to get it. All right, 
So now I want us to try some finger push-ups on the F chord. Start tapping our toes. Tap, tap, tap. Now remember, with finger push-ups, we're going to do four beats on, four beats off. Okay? So let's get into position. First finger on the second string, first fret. Second finger on fourth string, second fret. One, two, ready, play. Off, two, back here. Off, two, three, four. Off, two, three, four. Last time. Off, two, three, and stop. All right, let's just go straight into some finger push-ups on C. Do we remember how to finger C? We use our third finger, our ring finger. It's on the first string, third fret. Let's do some finger push-ups here. Tap your toe. One, two, ready, go. Off, two, back, on. Off, back, on. Off, back, on. time here. And stop. Good job. Let's go back to that F chord. Remember, our first finger is going to be on the second string, first fret. Second finger, fourth string, second fret. Tap your toe. One, two, ready, go. Off, two, three, four. Off. Off, two, three, four. Last time. And stop. Let's go back to C one last time. Remember third finger, first string, third fret. One, two, ready, play. Off. Are you tapping your toes? Use the whole forearm. Off. Off. Last time. Off. And stop. Okay, guys. Our next exercise is going to be going back and forth between the C chord and the F chord. So what I want us to do is play four beats on C chord. Off for four. And then play four beats on F. Then off 
for four, going back to C. Two, three, four. All right, so I'm gonna start the metronome and then we will do that exercise. All right, so let's begin by tapping our toe. Tap, 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 tap. We're gonna start on C and we're going to play four beats on C, take four beats off, and then play four beats on F. And we're gonna go back from F to C, F to C. Four beats on each. One, two, C, go. Off, two, go to F. Off, two, go to C. Off, go back to F. Off. To C, off, going to F, back to C, to F, last time. Alright guys, so let's look at our first song of this lesson. This song is Polly Wally Doodle, and we have two chords in this song. We have the C chord, and we have the F chord. And as we can see, the C chord diagram, we're going to be on the first string on the third fret with our third finger, as indicated by the number three. And for F, our first finger is going to be on the second string, first fret, and our second finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. That's a lot of numbers. Let's go over that one again. So F, our first finger is going to be on the second string, on the first fret, and our second finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. It's exactly what we were just practicing in our push-ups between C and F. C right here, and F right here. So our first finger is on that second string, first fret, and our second finger is on the fourth string, second fret. Um, so we're going to start on the F chord here, and then at the end of the line we're going to switch to C, so let's just look at that first line. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. So we're just doing straight F chords. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the... And then on day, we switch to C. My sal, she is a saucy gal, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. And there again, on day, we switch to the F chord. So let's do those first two lines, starting on F. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. There we switch to C. Now we're going to stay on C. My Sal, she is a saucy gal, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. And there we move to F. And then the chorus goes, we're going to start on F, right here. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. 
At the end of this line by Fairy Fay, we switch to C, and then we stay on C for this whole line and this third line until we get to the word day. So let's try the chorus again. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie and I sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. And then our next verse is, so we're going to start on F. Grasshopper sitting on a railroad track, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. There we switch to C. Now stay on C. He was picking his teeth with the carpet taxing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. And there we switch to F. And then here, where it says chorus, that means you just pop right back up to the chorus. And we do the chorus one more time. So starting on F. Fare thee well, fare thee well. Fare thee well, my fairy fay. There we switch to C. Stay on C. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie Anna sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. And there we switch to F. All right. So let's try to put this song to a metronome. And remember, we want to keep good posture. We're going to start by tapping our toes. Tap, 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 tap. We're starting on F, which is first finger, second string, first fret. Second finger, fourth string, second fret. This is Polly Wally Doodle. One, two, three, ready. Oh, I went down south for to see my gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. My sal, she is a saucy gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie Anna sing Polly Wally Hopper sitting on his railroad track, sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. He was picking his teeth with carpet taxing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susie Anna sing Polly Wally Doodle all the day. Stop. All right, so our next song is Miss Mary Mac. And again, we are playing the C chord, which is on our third fret, first string, and the F chord, which is first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the fourth string, second fret. And the lyrics for this one go Miss Mary Mac, Mac, Mac. All dressed in black, black, black with silver buttons. So on buttons we switch to C. Silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back. Back to F on back. Back, back, back. She asked her mother for 50 cents to see the elephants. And that's where we switch to C. Elephants, 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 jump the fence. So on fence we go back to F. And we're going to stay on F for they jumped so high. They touched the sky. And they didn't come back. There we move to C. Till the 4th of July. And on July, we go back to F again. All right, let's try to sing the song and play it together. All right, start by tapping your toe. Tap, 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 tap. We're starting on F, which is the first finger on the second string, first fret. 
our second finger on the fourth string, second fret. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. One, two, three. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, 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 for fifty cents, 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 to see the elephants, 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 jump the fence, 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 they jump so high. So that's all that I have for our second lesson in our Ukulele for You series. I want you guys to continue to practice going back and forth between F and C this week. Do some finger push-ups on both of those chords and also practice going back and forth between the two chords. I want you also to practice these two songs that we've learned today. And um, I'm going to put some timestamps in the description below so you can uh, quickly find those to listen along with while you play. Um, as always, be sure to practice with a metronome and tap your toe, keep good posture, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Okay, bye guys.